Maxwell Carlyle. Okay, a delay pedal. In my opinion, everybody should have a delay pedal. You can add, you know, these really cool uh, atmospheric sounds to your playing. They're great for, for lead work, for doing solos. You know, if you want to play some old, uh, what, you know, Dick Dale type stuff or something, you get a little slapback delay going on. It's really cool. Um, but uh, the problem is, they're, you know, they're one of the more expensive pedals usually. You know, you can get a distortion pedal for 50 bucks or whatever. But most delay pedals, you're going to be hard pressed to find one for under 100 bucks. They're usually between 100 and 200 bucks. If you go with the boutique stuff, I mean, you can pay, you know, you can pay 300, uh, you know, 400 bucks for a delay pedal. All the delay pedal does is just, it just repeats what you play. It shouldn't be that uh, complicated. Anyway, so today, what I'm going to talk about <clears throat> is the Behringer digital delay pedal, the DD400. These things go for $29.99. You can get these for $30. Bucks. It doesn't come with a battery, so, you know, you got to spend an extra 4 or 5 bucks on a 9 volt or something. But um, this is basically a uh, copy of like a Boss DD3, which is their standard delay pedal. Those goes for like go for like uh, 110 bucks or something like that. Anyway, 30 bucks. And uh, Behringer's kind of hit and miss. Some of their stuff is phenomenal. Some of it just blows. Uh, this is one of the good ones. So uh, I'll go through the features and let's check it out. So here's a close-up of the Behringer DD400. Um, you've got a level control here, which is like the mix feedback, which is the number of repeats, the time, which is just the delay time, and then you've got this mode uh, switch over here. The top three modes are different lengths of time, and those are in stereo. Then you've got the same lengths of time, uh, basically up to 1.3 seconds, up to 500 milliseconds, and then up to 200 milliseconds and those are the mono settings and then over here you've got a hold function where it'll just basically repeat whatever sound that is playing when you hit the button indefinitely over here uh, this is a stereo pedal so you've got the out A and out B. A is the mono out if you're going to run stereo you use both of these obviously and then you've got the input over here and the 9 volt power supply plug and any uh, standard um, you know like the Rocktron plugs, the Boss power supplies or like the I think it's the Visual Sound one spot uh, plugs those will all power this thing so you can you can run this thing on just about anything and of course uh, under the pedal you hit these little buttons on the side here and this pedal flips up and that's where the battery is okay so first Let's start out with a short delay here. Um, see if we can get like a slapback kind of sound. Okay, let's go to some longer delays here. I'll go to the next setting which is up to 500 milliseconds. Uh, I'm going to turn the feedback to about, what's that, about 10 o'clock. Time's about halfway, about noon, and the level is about, about halfway. like these you can start to get okay settings like these you can start to get into some cool uh, harmonizing effects if you play in time with the delay if you're playing like triplets or something like that with like a major scale or a, an aeolian scale like a natural minor let's try that out <laughs> Triplets against like the quarter note delay 
And when you're playing triplets, when you get to the third note, it's repeating the first note, so you're harmonizing in thirds as you go up the scale. Kind of a cool effect. Okay, let's get into some even longer delays. Uh, this is usually the good stuff for soloing and, and uh, you know, a nice lead delay. So I'm going to my longest delay setting and go about uh, 10 o'clock on the time. Feedback, I'm going to put it pretty low. I just want like maybe two repeats. Level at about 9 o'clock, so about a quarter of the way up. seconds. Feedback about a quarter of the way up, about nine o'clock, and the level I'll turn up a little to, I don't know, ten o'clock, something. All right. case is, is plastic and that kind of thing, the, the base plate is metal, but, you know, geez, 30 bucks, you could buy three of these things and, you know, you're fine. And, uh, of course, everything I just went through, um, you can do, uh, you can do all those in stereo also, so, you can have like a, a dual stack set up where one's going left, one's going right, that kind of stuff, really cool stuff, um, Behringer Digital Delay, the DD400, check it out. 